I'm going to grind the joints out so they're all uniform and, and try and make it look a bit better. This isn't going to be fun, but um, what can you do? We can't leave it like this because it's actually dangerous now. Morning. What day with time? Ta oh, there's our apprentice today. Hey Daisy, the sun in your eyes. There you go. Is that better? Oh, there you go. Don't drop it. I'm glad she put it down. Bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Hang on, get your, get your high vis on. Come on. <laughs> wow. Wow. A green dress? A green dress? I've never really called that before. That's what Granddad used to work every day, a green dress. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Where's the beds? Oh. You need to get going so we can get started. I know, I'll accept that. <laughs> Daisy's gone to see Nanny now, he's gone for a walk. So there'll be some interesting footage to edit from that. Yeah. So, this is Sarah and Stuart's house. You may recognise the fence. Oh yeah, you recognise the fence. How long ago did we do that? Two years ago, isn't it? Because Daisy's nearly two. I think the garden's been done over a year and as you can see it was done badly they paid a lot of money for this and it looked great obviously it always does it looks great when it's first done but i've never been happy with the way the joints are look at that got to be six mil that down to next to nothing there there's some over here there is no joint and where they have done jointed it the mix has been too weak it's all just come up, there's stuff growing in it, that means it's too weak. So, us being bricklayers, the only thing we can do is repoint it. I know you can use this fancy jointing compound, but we've never used that before, so we're just going to stick with traditional. And then Alex has just found this one. Just pull it up, show them how they've actually done. What a surprise. So, we're going we're to... Um, I've seen on Instagram a landscaper he's repaired a couple of these. That's all we can do is repair it. We can't redo it. No, we can't afford that. And Sarah and Stuart can't afford it. So it's going to be a repair as best we can, make it safe for little Daisy. There's one here, I think, Al, as well. Um, it's one of these little square ones, is loose. But um, any loose ones we're going to take up. There you go. There's one. And then look at the joints. We're going to join those so they're nice and even so you're not tripping on them. We're going to grind the joints out so they're all uniform. And, and try and make it look a bit better. Obviously, we can't make it look perfect because we're not good at this kind of thing. We're just here to try and help. Yeah, you can see um, you can see on the flags, the dot and dabs underneath, see the way it dries. So, I think that is that, isn't it? I think the, the, the loose ones, we've seen on Instagram, you mix up SBR and cement and just basically stick them back down. And where the, um, the dot and dabs are, we'll fill that in with mortar so it's a solid. And just try and make sense of it all. And we're going to use grit sand and cement, four to one, and make it quite dry and just ram it in tight. And we're going to go down at least 15, 20 mil to give it a good key. Yeah, there's another example of it. Look at the state of that. Instead of doing a proper cut around the manhole, they just cut a piece, 
got another thin piece, got another piece, another piece. So basically, and oh yeah, they've, they have rung them up to see if they'll come back and fix it, but guess what? Nobody answers the phone. They don't exist anymore. And these were recommended, believe it or not. So I hope nobody else has used them. So, should we start making a mess? This isn't going to be fun, but um, what can you do? We can't leave it like this, because it's actually dangerous now. Like that. So let's get these grinders out and get going. Right, we've had a little go at it. It's not fun. It's got to be dipping it as well. The whole thing, the, the flags don't line up, which is made worse by no mortar being in the joints. You can see that one there. It's bang. Once we've jointed it, though, it's going to be a bit better. It's, it's hard taking just a few mil off the flags. We've got a couple of marks on the flag. But it's still going to be better than it was. I've got the, um, the grinding blade. I'm just taking the joints out down as deep as I can. You see how it's like drying out, drying out nice and quick. Look how wet that is. That's that was the mortar between the flags. Look at the state of that. I don't think there's even any cement in that. Don't even need the grinders to get it out. Absolute disgrace. No one's the moss growing in it. It's all wet it out. Look at it. I hope they get to see this video and I hope they're ashamed of themselves. I really do. That's a lot of money they rip service to you off from. Obviously we're not charging for this because it's family and we just want to look after them and make sure it's safe for the baby. I think we're up to about four or five wobbly flags now. So we're just going to stick them back with SPR and cement and um, fill up mortar around the dot and dab so it's a full bed. Yeah, and it's going to take a lot longer than I thought. I thought we had this done today. We'd be lucky to get the grinding done today. Um, we need to stop at one point and make sure we get it repointed today because it's going to rain tomorrow. So I don't really want to rake it all out and have all the joints full of water. We'll just have to do it in stages as and when we can. We're actually here today because we're quiet. We've had last couple of months we've had a lot of quiet spells. We've had as much time off as we have, we've had to work in. So. Now the weather's picking up, we're hoping to get busy again. So, um, Alex will be back in a minute from his toilet break and then um, we'll crack on. I'm going to brush a bit of this crap up so we can see what we're doing and carry on. Good Friday morning. No Friday today because we're just round the corners at Sir and Stewart's again. And, um, wow, this job took a lot longer than we thought, as, as they do. But this, this is a, this just, this patio is awful. All this is dot and dabbed 
all of it so as we're going along they're popping there's loose ones anyway and as we grind out it's popping up as well so the best we can do is just SBR them back down and fill in the joints as best we can this whole thing needs ripping up and redoing but that's just not going to happen that's just not in the budget because they are souls who put it down and they, they just won't even answer the phone they're not interested they won't even come back to repoint it we're using grit sand 4 to 1 and just pack it, pack it all back as best we can just to stop everything wobbling and make it safe again it's, it's got a huge dip in it it's not, it's not even close to flat it's got all these weird cuts you look around where they cut around the, the drains Tiny cut, weird little cut there, weird little cut there. And then this random piece there. So yeah, this this is um this is what it looks like when your daughter's been ripped off by some landscape builders, landscape gardeners, who have now disappeared. I don't, the only good thing is it's it's somewhere for Daisy to play. We had a we had a lovely time yesterday because Daisy was out helping. But, uh, she can't play today because we've got back on the grinder to get these joints or something like we're raking them down and we're raking the joints bigger as well just to try and get everything looking uniform let me just show you some examples of some of the joints as well there you go 25 mil to absolutely nothing so why didn't they just push that flag that way 10 mil that would have been uniform joints again there less than 10 mil I mean, I am no expert when it comes to flagging because we don't do it. We leave it to the people who know what they're doing, or sp supposedly know what they're doing. But we just do, we just do what bricklayers do, repairing it and repointing it. So I, I wish I knew what the names were. I'd, I'd, I'd name check them so nobody else has to use them. Oh yeah, these ones here. You can see where the um, the cross joint just stops because they've just put blocks down there and those flags overhang the blocks by about three inches so there's nothing underneath that far edge luckily it's against the fence oh yeah and um, they've just built up over the fence this is the fence we did so if you notice there's a whole rail missing at the bottom they've also um, brought, the, brought the ground up against the fence as well that should have had um, a gravel board on this side of the post so you can get down behind to paint it but as you see the grass is up against the post against the rails and the boards so they're just going to rot this is the dumb clue what they're doing freaking useless right we're back at Sir and Stuart's house as you can see we've got quite a bit of it done not as much as we'd hoped but pretty much all that grinding's done so we've got nice uniform ish joints now that's another loose one there and I think there's one loose one down there, it's not too bad. And the last one is this corner, which needs a bit of grinding as well. But the joints are same there, so this, this one flag needs lifting and grinding. I'll show you underneath that when I take it up how bad it is. And then you can see the flags are up against the fence. Proper poor. That's a six foot fence that. And that's eye level with me, and I'm only five foot seven, eight. So plan today is while it's nice is get the rest of this garden sorted out so Daisy can play it properly she's currently fast asleep um, yeah uh, Alex is going to carry on with the pointing I'm going to get these two flags sorted out and get the rest of the grinding done here this is the last bit to do now we actually killed the blade on the uh, 9 inch grinder probably about 6 months wear of it just disappeared but yeah as you can see this is another mess look at the state of it look at that one As we, make, as we make Martin from Wigan to say, it's dog shit. Absolutely horrendous. And they've walked away and took the money for this. And as I say, Sir and Stuart's still paying for this. It's not even done two years. It's an absolute disgrace. Look at this behind this gate. Just throw any old shit in here. Weeds coming through it. 
So we're going to get stuck in and hopefully get this all done today. Alex is just done doing the radio. This is the pack out system we've been sent by Milwaukee, which is fantastic. Here you go. Pull that up. And that's the radio. Good size of it. It's the pack out radio so it fits in all this. And that's the tool chest. That's our new tool chest. With all our tools in. And then I'm gonna give this a whirl today. Better get on soon because fixed radio's on in a sec. Sorry, fixed radio's on and Clive Holland's on in a minute. Let's get it on. Is it working out? Should we take right. these in? Out the so, way? Um, while you do that, I'll just talk a bit then. <clears throat> so, I'm sure you'll see a before and after before I do this outro, or however it's going to work. But um, that was the pits. <laughs> Not the job. I mean, it, well, it wasn't great, but the, the state the it was, was in. The job was a slog. That took a long time, that. Well, it took three days. Yeah. Three full days this took. Or, or two days and three quarters. But um, as you can see, it looks a bit better now. You can actually, uh, can actually see cross joints and there's actually mortar in them. So, that's... Uh, Always good. So now these, and there's no rocking in these either now. So the the steady, the filled up, and they're not going to rock anymore. So now and the joints are uniform, so it yeah, looks better. It looks better, and it's safer for that for that baby running around. No tripping over the flags. Yeah. So yeah, this was a a slog, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe because that's always a massive help to the channel and we greatly appreciate all the support. This has been Brickling with... Steve. That one over there. Watch out for the cowboys. Huh? Cowboy builders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're talking about us? <laughs> I'm sure someone will agree with that. <laughs> been called worse. And Alex. And we'll see you in the next video.